Oh, I see. All right, I think this is everybody says they could make it. We'll see if I get any emails from anybody. Um, I know uh, Raquel said she couldn't make it, so got a couple people who couldn't make it at this time. But hi, everybody. Uh, hopefully I'm coming in uh, clear and loud enough. Um, this is Lakshmi, if it's not clear from, <laughs> from the uh, chat box over here. Um, I, let me get it to the whiteboard here. Can everybody see the whiteboard uh, with the, our, our brief little agenda on it? Hi, Rita. Okay, great. Okay, awesome. Okay, so thank you everybody for being here today. Um, Happy New Year. I don't know, you've got to milk that for as long as you can. We were trying to figure out today when you have to like stop saying Happy New Year. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead, and the first thing I wanted to do actually, which isn't listed here, is um, could somebody volunteer to take minutes? I have, I actually have a, this is a link to the like online version of this agenda, so perhaps somebody as the meeting's going could take notes and uh, just sort of update that with what's being discussed during the meeting today, if anybody feels comfortable doing that. Or if you'd like, you can take minutes on your own and then update that document. Anybody? Okay, great. Thanks, Sherry. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and get us started then. So just to, to update people on what we've been uh, up to, what each uh, group has, um, or subcommittee has been up to, um, I'll get us started on what the chat group's been up to. We have had three chats, uh, one in October, one in November, and one in December. And um, as you probably already know, I put out a call uh, in, in like September, early October, asking people to um, send in their proposals for chats. To, and like their availability or, or monthly availability on um, the chats. And I, I tried to frame it so that people would send in um, submissions or themed around uh, the framework, the ACRL framework, which I think has had some success and has been really interesting. We, we In December, we the most recent one, we just had uh, one on um, history of science and using like the history of science to help frame um, like how the science languages are being spoken now and it was really good. I, I really, um, if you guys get the chance, I recommend watching the, the, the archive of that. Um, so all of the archives are posted on the LibGuide. Let me copy the URL, I'll stick it in the chat here. Um, so all of, the, all of them are archived there and we've got three we don't have three lined up for the next um, February, March, April, but um, we're going to be referring back to that proposal system. And what we've been doing is, um, at, as each month approaches, I send out an email and sort of ask for everybody's feedback, and we just select from the people who've indicated that they're available for that month, um, and then we contact them, and then from there set up the webinar space and. Um, all of that. So, and it seems to be working okay. We'll see. I'm kind of curious to see how it'll go this this spring because because it'll be it'll have been so long since those people sent in their proposals. So, I'm not sure that system might need a little tweaking in the future. Um, it was kind of a new thing that I just sort of put out there. Um, so that's been that's been fairly successful, and I've enjoyed all all of the chats that I've been able to make it to. Um, and then I'll let uh, Sherry say what the resource group has been up to. Sure. So first, excuse my husky voice. I had a cold earlier this week, and I do not sound like me today. Um, so the resources committee is mostly doing, so far, pretty traditional work. Um, we have all done our traditional role and signed up to update various parts of the guide. Um, one of them has actually already been updated. I just put in a few small changes to the framework tab today. 
Um, so for those of you on that committee, feel free to do that work of, you know, kind of going through and checking to see if there's anything new that needs to be added or if you have any broken links or things like that. Um, and send that to me when you have it. I will start pestering you in May or so for that information so that we can make sure that everything is up to date and functional by the time we all go to ALA and by the time this committee wraps up for the year. Um, so that's all going on as we can. Um, we also have a smaller group, including myself, who is going to be looking into whether we can easily incorporate some resources that come up in the chats in our guides um, and how best to do that. So we're still working on it, but um, we're going to be starting to go through and kind of coding some of the past chats to see where things might fit naturally and um, investigating from there. We'll see how it works. Um, but it all sort of depends on what we find when we start doing that coding, which I probably need to start and have not done yet. So that'll probably be happening sometime later this month. Um, for now, I think that's probably everything. That's great. I, I think that's really interesting that you guys are going to try to go back and look. Because I know some, like, some of the previous archives that are posted, like, within the um, text of the chat itself, there's definitely, like, people mentioning certain things that might be useful. Um, and then um, for the ones that we have slides for, uh, a lot of the speakers usually have like extra things or, um, you know, we, we try to ask them, is there anything people should read beforehand? So if there's some way to sort of take those things and make them into something like useful for other people, like I think that's very, that's going to be awesome. So thank you. Yeah, um, just one addendum to that. I think it'll be really easy to identify the things that fall into our existing tabs and that we can pretty quickly add those. But for those things that are maybe don't fit neatly into a topic, that, that's where we'll have to be doing some thinking. So if anybody in our committee or outside of it has ideas, and by that I mean our subcommittee, the resources subcommittee, has ideas about how that might work, um, feel free to let me know. Yeah, that's tough too because, yeah. As with a lot of libguides, sometimes I think eventually you're like, I have too many, <laughs> too many tabs here, <laughs> for sure. So condensing that's always the, the challenge. Okay. Um, so the next thing that I wanted to just remind people of is, uh, well, first of all, who's going to midwinter? Is anybody here going to midwinter this year? Gary's going to be there. So. So you probably, if anybody's going to be there, you're probably already on top of this. But uh, just as a reminder, um, um, STS has posted like their little handbook of, of things that are going on. And the all committee meeting is happening on the 21st. And it's from 8.30 to 10 in Weston Augustana room one. Um, we are not going to be there as like an official presence. The Information Literacy Committee is not going to be there as an official presence and um, they know that. But if very like if you go and there's anything interesting that you want to report back, feel free to send that information to me and um, maybe to the rest of the group in some way. Um, but there's no like official like somebody needs to be there <laughs> kind of thing. So um, um, if I can add something there. Yeah. Um, there, if you are there and you happen to be attending that committee meeting, um, sometimes that is a good place where people might come up and, and talk to us about how the committee works. So if you're going to be there and you're willing to do that, don't hesitate to explain what our committee does to anybody who's, you know, around and maybe curious. Yeah. Or if, if you're not comfortable doing that, you can at least send them our way because we have had because the announcement just went out for um, mm -hmm. volunteering for committees, um, we have had a couple people email, emailing in saying like, hey, we're interested. I want to know more about what you do. So you can also direct them to us too. Absolutely. So that should be fun. It looks like they've got a couple fun things lined up and they're already planning stuff for annual too. So, um, and we don't, ha we don't have an official um, plan for annual either, I don't think, um, but, what might happen is I might put out a call and say, is anybody willing to, to be there? Because more people tend to be an annual just on a normal basis. So I might ask somebody to be there in a, maybe a more official capacity for annual to, to report back in some way. Um, yeah, agreed that that would be nice, especially because I do know that I won't be making it to annual this year either. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I feel slightly guilty, but there were other I things. Too. 
ACRLs this year. It's in Baltimore, yeah. which is where I am. And we've already been told, like, all of our money is getting spent on our registration for that. Like, every, because everybody Aww. at my institution wants to go, so there's no other money to go anywhere else. So, <laughs> so I was Sad. like, it's an annual for me this year. So, yeah. Um, okay. And, uh, yeah, so that's actually the next thing that's on the agenda is um, if you're interested in being sort of the official SPS IL rep and you know you're going to be at annual, please let me know. I'll put out another call closer to um, because I know people's plans aren't completely firm yet. Um, but I, I would love to have um, somebody there from the committee to represent us and in some official capacity. So, or let me know um, if you're going to be there and if you're willing to do that. And I think I've actually seen them talking about like um, the all committee meeting is, is like, so there's usually like an official meeting early on and then there's also like a second one that happens at the end, but I think they've been discussing like not having that meeting because it's so late. So I think there would only be really like one thing for people to really officially show up to. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, I'm not sure if you're you're talking about the all committee meeting or council meetings, but oh, the council, council yeah, meetings are different. I don't know. I've never actually attended one of those, even though I'm supposed to. Yeah, it's yeah, me neither. <laughs> I just get the email. I just get the Basically. council emails. Yeah, so maybe I am mixing those up. I think you're right, Sherry. That's, that's probably council that I'm thinking of. Um. Okay, and then the last thing is is there any interest in people co-chairing with Sherry next year? So you don't need to say like officially right now declare, um, but I wanted to say uh, I am stepping down from my two years of, of co-chairing um, and it's been great. It's been a lot of fun and I've, I've learned a lot from the process and it's been really fun to sort of just be more uh, involved with SPS in general. Um, but I will be rotating out at the end, at the end of this year. So, um, if you're interested in co-chairing with Sherry, um, please let me know officially by, I would say, like the end of January. Um, and if there's more than one person that's, that's interested in doing that, then I might ask you to give me a little paragraph saying, like, why you're interested, and then we would have, like, a voting. Um, so I would send that out and say, like, these are the people who are interested. Please vote on who you want to have as co-chair. Um, so just let me know, um, and, uh, hopefully, uh, we'll get that figured out and set up for, um, for next, for next year. I know that sometimes there's a little transition, like, we have to make sure everybody, like, the official ACRL people know this is the new co-chair, they need to be included on the council, emails, and those, that kind of, like, logistics and stuff. So hopefully if we get it figured out early, we can... Um, get the ball rolling on the transition. Yes, and I don't know, Sherry, have... if you wanted to say anything about that. Sure. Um, so over the past few years, we've sort of been doing this thing where we have one co-chair from each of the subcommittees, but I don't know that it necessarily has to be that way. Um, and also the structure doesn't necessarily have to remain the same. I don't have to stay with the resources of committee next year. So um, it, regardless of which subcommittee you're on right now, if you're interested, volunteer. Yeah, that's a good point. For sure. And I think that we do have a lot of freedom in our co-chair position to sort of lead how we want and figure stuff out. So I've never felt any sort of like pressure to like, you have to do it this way kind of thing. For sure. Um, so yeah, so please just email me and let me know if you're interested. Um, and hopefully we can, can get that all figured out. Um, the other thing uh, that I don't have listed on the, the agenda here is I'd like to do a sharing of news. So does any ha anybody have any fun news they wanted to share about what's going on in their lives? I'll start with me in that I am pretty sure I have permanent status. <laughs> um, I got my official letter from my committee and from my dean, and now I just need my official letter from my provost. So usually the provost just goes with what everybody else does. So fingers crossed, but I'm pretty sure I got permanent status. Yay! <laughs> So that's my, that's my exciting news. Does anybody else have some fun news they want to share about what's going on with them?
If anyone's going to be at ACRL, which I'm guessing most of us, if not all of us, will probably be at ACRL, um, I'm going to be, I was accepted for a roundtable discussion with one of my coworkers on text mining, and then we also have a poster on a project we did on grade literature. Um, I'm sure there's a million posters at ACRL, but <laughs> um, yeah, that's what's happening over here in Minnesota. Yeah, that is exciting. I will definitely be at ACRL. That's nice, Arena. Well, you know, I so one of my coworkers actually, Sarah Gil, Sarah Arnold Garza. We have lots of Sarahs. Uh, Sarah Arnold Garza uh, just got something published in CNRL News that's about Baltimore and social justice. So I recommend that to anybody. I should find the link for that. Well, I don't have anything quite as big as some of those, but we're, we just rolled out a new strategic plan and all of our project teams are starting to convene and it's kind of exciting even if it's not like publishable or anything. Um, I'm on two teams and one of them is working on developing a long-term strategy for online learning. The other is working on trying to integrate resources from our collection into the curriculum, like in a more deliberate way. Anybody else have some exciting news they want to share about what's going on in their science life? That sounds super cool, Margaret. Especially being the first library, that's always nice to to get that to be able to be like the library does stuff too. <laughs> Oh, another thing that just popped into my head is because they just sent out the volunteer forms, like if you, I know people probably already know this, uh, if you are going to want to continue on and it's like, and you can go to the ACRL's like SGS, here, let me find the link, and check the year that, like next to your name, it will it should say the year that you're a member, like ends. So if you want to continue on, um, after, if yours says like June 30th, 2017, that means your your uh, thing is ending. Uh, and if you want to continue on, then you have to like re-volunteer. Re so just, just a reminder to anybody to keep that in mind. All right. Well, I think we can hopefully wrap things up. Um, thank you, everybody, for being here. And it's been a great uh, start of the of our year. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens uh, over the course of the next semester. And uh, hopefully, everybody is uh, getting over colds. I know I got back and got got really sick. And Sherry mentioned she was sick. Uh, I hope everybody has a really great semester. Thank you so much for being here today. And I look forward to interacting with you online uh, throughout the rest of the semester. So thank you.